friends, welcome to my vlog. June is my birthday month, so I will be doing a lot of celebrating with a lot of cooking. As you know, I have a passion for cooking and I just love making experimental dishes and um, replicating dishes that I've tried before. So today, I'm actually making an omakase coarse meal uh, for my friends. I will be making eight courses of Japanese fusion uh, dishes and so I will be taking you with me to go through the process of making all the dishes. So um, yeah, let's go! First, I want to give a shout out to our product sponsor, Fika, for sponsoring this handy kitchen gadget. The 7-in-1 air fryer toaster oven combo can toast, air fry, broil, warm, bake, rotisserie, and the convention bake. When I'm making mini dishes for a dinner party like tonight, it helps to have something like this that can multi-function and make different dishes without having to man it. I will be using this to make my roasted bone marrow and crostini today. I think it's really cute and chic and it gives off a European compact feel on your kitchen counter. Though it feels compact, this thing is not small. You can roast an entire rotisserie chicken in it. You can purchase this on their website at fika.com or on Amazon or click on the link in my description. Now let's take a peek at the menu I made for tonight. The theme will be Taste of Yuzu, so every dish will have some yuzu flavors infused. some fresh garnishes from my garden like these Japanese maple leaves and some young yuzu leaves. I added some garlic infused oil to the rice before cooking in the rice cooker to give the rice more flavor. I'll be using the rice in some of the dishes tonight. Combining miso paste, yuzu juice, yuzu koso, sesame oil, yuzu salt and white pepper, chopped scallions, and sesame seeds. This will be the dressing for my beet and avocado salad. beautiful golden and red beets that I got from the farmer's market in an instant pot for 20 minutes. Then I just peel them, the skin just comes right off. I chop them into bite-sized pieces and then toss them in the yuzu dressing I made earlier. I also got these gorgeous watermelon radishes at the farmer's market. I sliced them into thin slices into quarters. Look how pretty they are. Then I added avocados and the watermelon radish to the beets and garnished with bonito flakes. The next dish is sashimi scallops that I'm making into a rose. Then I topped it with masago and caviar. Mm. 
To finish plating this dish, I added radish slices, radish sprouts, nasturtium leaves, masago, and mango. Then I drizzled it with garlic oil and yuzu dressing. For the bone marrows, I seasoned both sides with yuzu salt and black pepper. Plated in my fika oven air fryer and roasted for about 40 minutes. Next, I'm making the crostini using sliced baguette. Drizzle the bread with garlic infused oil and add parsley. Near the last 2 minutes of the 40 minute timer, I'm putting the bread in the bottom rack below the bone marrows. Once it is done, just set the oven to keep warm. I took them out when I was ready to serve them. I'm making a yakumi for the hamachi yellowtail nigiri. Yakumi are like condiments or seasoning added to Japanese food to help enhance the main ingredient. I'm using 5 Japanese herbs including the young yuzu leaves I picked earlier, matsupa, a Japanese parsley, scallions, shunkiku, and shiso leaves. I added some garlic infused oil and used the emotion blender to make a puree. I seasoned the sushi rice with rice vinegar and a little bit of yuzu salt and mixed it evenly. I got this beautiful sashimi grade hamachi and I'll be using it for my smoked hamachi nigiri. The hamachi nigiri, I'm adding some yuzu koso, wasabi, and brushed on some ponzu sauce. Top with the Japanese herb puree I just made. some garlic infused oil for more flavor. I'm using my new handy mini smoker for the first time. I'm using apple wood to smoke the hamachi. I want to make sure that the taste and presentation are equally amazing. Serving the roasted bone marrow with a shallot parsley salad, tossing yuzu juice in a side of yuzu jam. Next up is spicy tuna on crispy rice. Fry the rectangular shaped sushi rice until they're golden brown and crispy on both sides. I find that serving this on shiso leaves really balances all the flavors nicely and it makes a great presentation. So I highly recommend adding shiso leaves if you ever make these. I'm topping the crispy rice with the spicy tuna I prepped last night. Next, I topped it with avocados. Drizzled some eel sauce. Topped it with some chili threads. And then finished with some masago. Look how pretty they turned out. Next, I'm plating my yuzu garlic butter abalones. I've made a short video on how to make this dish on my channel a while ago, so you can go check it out. I'm garnishing with some masago, edible flowers, chili threads, and radish sprouts. I'm prepping the uni cream sauce for the uni udon. Start off with some butter, minced garlic and shallot. Then add sake, dashi broth, and a generous amount of uni paste. 
You can find uni paste bottles usually at Korean markets in the seafood section. They keep really well in the fridge compared to fresh uni which you have to consume within a couple days. Season with black pepper and yuzu salt. Add the heavy cream. Reduce the sauce until it's thickened. Things got a little hectic so I forgot to film but I boiled some udon and tossed it in the uni sauce. To plate the uni udon, I topped it with a quail egg yolk, fresh uni, salmon roe, nasa chin leaves, edible flowers, and shredded nori, which is dried seaweed. Then I finish with some toasted white sesame. Last but not least, for dessert, I'm serving yuzu cheesecake. I'll be making an official recipe video for this, so please look forward to it. I top with some homemade matcha whipped cream and 24 karat gold flakes. Now here are some footages from my guests' point of view when they are served with each dish. I had so much fun making all these dishes, and for me, cooking is so therapeutic, so this was a treat for both my guests and myself. Please comment below if you like these types of cooking vlogs, and I'll be sure to make more contents like this in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.